and we are kicking off our show with some family fun. Sandbox is a futuristic VR experience where you could see and physically interact with everyone inside the video game just like you can in the real world. There's a new location at the City Foundry and our Malik Wilson is getting a behind the scenes look at everything they have to offer. Malik, you, are, you look so cool already. You look like you're in an action movie. I feel really cool. While this is just a mic, you know, we're gonna get the real stuff going, but we already got some of our gear on, ready to immerse ourselves into a really entertaining video game experience. But I'm joined here with my friend here, Sandbox Virtual Reality, who is going to tell us all about who they are and how all this stuff even works. So first off, thank you for joining us here on the show. Explain to us what Sandbox Virtual Reality is. Yeah, of course. So Sandbox VR is a fully immersive and social virtual reality experience. So with lots of VR, you find yourself in a room by yourself. But here at Sandbox VR, you can have up to six people all playing together in their own video game. Holy cow. And I've seen videos online and I actually snuck in here a couple of days ago to kind of see how it all worked. Um, I heard a woman in here screaming her lungs out. So <laughs> talk about, you know, some of the games that you guys have and, you know, how real it feels. Yeah, so right now we have six different experiences. Our most popular are our zombie games. Okay. So our most recent game, our newest game, is Deadwood Valley. Okay. In that scenario, you are defending a city from a horde of zombies. Ooh. It gets very, very intense. And what really takes it to the next level is that vest that you're wearing, actually. Okay. This is a haptic vest. So it's combining haptic feedback to give you real vibrations oh, during wow. synchronized parts of the game. So when a zombie grabs you, you're going to feel it. Oh, that's scary. And I know this is, we have all of our equipment and stuff here, so I've already thrown on the vest. Um, talk about the guns and all this other stuff. Yeah, so over here we've got our props. Depending on what game you play, you'll get different props here. Um, we've got the, the guns, the pistols, and then the wands. The wands are definitely the most versatile. Okay. These can be a sword, they can be a scanner, um, they can be you know a number of items. Okay. The wands can really be whatever we tell the computer okay. that it should look like to you. So though you're just holding a little wand, um, you're seeing it as what your video game character would see. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So listen, we're gonna get suited up really here really quick. We have about a minute and a half. We're gonna suit up really, really quick. And then, guys, we're gonna go inside and try it out yeah, here. If you so, follow me, we'll yeah, let's here. rock and roll. So, you guys are gonna be able to see me here on the computer screen. So, once we get all dressed up here, I'm just gonna throw this on. Oh, throw that on like that. Don't try this at home, live television and suiting up, guys. And I've got a belt we can do across. <laughs> I feel like an astronaut, Jesus. Safety. There we go. Very intense, like I said, most uh -oh. immersive experience that you'll ever have in VR. So right now, I feel like I'm about to go to space. <laughs> I'm already feeling very, very futuristic. You look right. it, Malik. We're excited. So we got the headset, yep. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I'm going into the dark. Okay, there he goes. We've lost him. Oh, God. Okay, there we go. I'm feeling it already. Fun. Okay, what do you see? gonna throw do the headphones on. Yet? Oh, I'm seeing a lot, Mary. Listen, I, hopefully you guys can see this on the screen here in a second. <clears throat> All right, so what's next from here? All right, so next from here, we're gonna launch you into the game. Okay. I'm gonna bring you your weapon. Okay. So you won't be defenseless out here. Oh yeah, we don't want that. No, no don't want that. Don't. And then you're gonna have lots of zombies <laughs> coming at you, okay? Gotcha. All right, so let me grab that weapon for you. All right. I'll be right back. All right, sounds good. So she's going to go get the weapon for us really quick. Right now, I can see um, kind of like a menu. It looks like um, like an advertisement of some sort. People are kind of playing another game that I'm watching. Um, somebody's talking in my ear. Uh oh. So, all right, so I think we're about to go into the game. Oh, oh, my hand. You can see it. What does your hand look like? I just oh. want to know, Malik. Oh, oh you, can see, you can see the gun. Oh, wow. All right, so I'm going to hand you this mic really quick. Um, we're going to get a game started really, really quick. We have about 30 seconds. While that's going on, you guys, check out all the information there on the screen. Um, be sure to screenshot that, check that out. Um, and we're going to get started here really quick. So if you want to talk to the people, I'm going to give you a Yeah, of course. All right, I'm taking over, guys. Uh, so if you want to come over here to the screen, you are going to see how the game actually looks for him. Oh my gosh, Malik, you look We're so gonna cool We're going to launch him in, in that there. video game. And you're going to see um, it's going to get really dark for a second. It's going to be a little scary. He feels cool. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely looks cool. Very next level. Oh. 
So that's that haptic feed, um, the haptic feedback vest there that he's feeling. Now we're gonna launch him in. Oh my goodness, the game hasn't even started. It's gonna take him to what a, a deserted city. So here he's got 360 degree visuals. So you can see he's turning in a circle. He's got a full surrounding all around him, a whole setting that looks very, very real. That looks so real. It looks like you're just looking into an action movie and Malik is starring in it, which I want to put that past him. So a lot of people ask about how you know where you where you are in the game. This red line here is what's going to keep you safe during your game. Um, as long as you stay within that red boundary, you're all good to go. Malik, can't, he can't hear me. He can't. Malik, we can't hear you, but we can hear the screaming a little bit. I don't I don't know if you can hear me, but like I said, it's very very <laughs> very intense. It must be, Malik, it must feel very real because you're, you're screaming. <laughs> oh my gosh, I mean, what is it? Is it, is it a rat? <laughs> They're zombies. <laughs> oh my gosh. Holy cow. Yo, this is crazy. I don't know if we'll ever, I don't know if we'll ever see, I don't know if we'll ever see Malik again. I think he's just gonna stay in there because he's just having clearly the time. I mean, I started tearing up a little bit. He was really, Malik, that was amazing. That was incredible. How does it feel? Is your heart racing? He can't, he can't see it. He doesn't know where his microphone is. He can't see anything. Oh, there it goes. Tell her that it feels like a workout in itself. <laughs> feels like a workout in itself. This is scary, but a lot of fun. Bring your friends. Everyone come out. We got to bring the show me team. We got to do it. You guys oh come Oh my on. gosh. We'd love to have you guys. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much, Malik. That looks amazing. Especially cool that you could see people in there with you. That's awesome.